Thanks for checking out this episode of Should You Read? And actually, this is the very first one, so I'll answer the simplistic question of should you read, which is yes, you should read. People should be reading. I don't read as much as I probably should, but we should all be reading in some form or another. So this is, mm, I was actually going to say this is only for comic book reading, but I might expand that out to other books. I usually don't read a ton of regular books, but comic books. So anyway, I'm going to do these. Uh, I might also do some um, should you watch uh, for TVs mo or TV shows, movies, whatever. So you can let me know about that. Uh, but for this episode, it's the first one I want to start it off strong. I'm going to go with a comic that I like. Uh, and I will say that all these comics will be ones that I read through Comixology, which Amazon owns the company. Um, they didn't originally, but they do now. And basically, they have an unlimited service that I use. I think it's like $6.99 a month for, and you can read as many comics as you want. The catch is there's only um, like the first two volumes worth available. So depending on how that line of comics, whatever you're looking at, does their volumes it's anywhere between like six to ten actual issues so it's a good amount to like get an idea if you're actually gonna like that comic um, but it's a little frustrating because then after that you have to purchase additional so but it, it has been great for me to figure out what do I actually like what do I not like so uh, another note the lighting isn't like the best I'm sorry this is kind of the best I can do uh, but you can see all my movies and terribly done in the back movies here movies here a beer sign pj soul signed doug bradley sign horror fan so seeing as that i am such a big horror fan and i have a bunch of other horror stuff up um i want to start off with a comic that i really like i believe it's by image oh god this is bad i'm gonna have to look it up while i'm doing this which is terrible but but um it's a a comic called Nailbiter. by the way i'm opening up my Comixology app, they actually have an app which is really nice, so this parlays into it quite quite well. Um, so Nailbiter is a more of a horror inspired uh, comic. Uh, let me see who does this one. Uh, yes, I'm correct, it was Image. Um, I've actually found I'm more of an Image type uh, comic book guy. So Nailbiter do I recommend it? So the reason I'm doing this is, should I read? And then I'll say, should I read Nailbiter? So that's this first one. Yes, in my opinion, you should read Nailbiter. Nailbiter, mainly for people who are into horror type stuff, it's kind of a little bit crime procedural, but uh, a lot of horror elements to it as well. Um, without giving anything away, it's kind of about a guy who is going to keep his eye on a serial killer who was let off the hook for some sort of technicality. Um, so, you know, he's kind of keeping his eye. He's a detective, I believe. And then he's con contacted by another detective who says, hey, um, I think I may have some information on something. And it gets even more interesting from there. Uh, plenty of death, uh, gore showing up in it. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, it's really good. The artwork is really good. The uh, writing is really good. The dialogue seems pretty realistic. Obviously, it's not a very realistic type story. Like, it's quasi-realistic, I guess, but not straight up. So, um, if that sounds good to you, I would definitely recommend it to you. I really like it. I got hooked on it pretty quick, and I actually went out and bought all the trades of it. So, I have all the issues now. I haven't read through it all the way, but... Um, I'm through two volumes. I need to pick it back up because I've been sampling a bunch of other comics at the moment. Um, but I'm so hooked on it, and that's going to be, at the moment, I think it's my most, the, the comic I'm most interested in reading. So even though I haven't gone to it yet, which is kind of a stupid thing to say, but, you know. So overall, uh, I want to keep these videos pretty pretty light, five minutes and below, so it's like a quick, you know, recommend or not recommend kind of so I would give this because Comixology does a five star rating system I'm going to do that so I would give this actually five stars out of five it hit everything for me genre is really awesome I mean it's a lot of horror to it but there's crime procedural as well uh, the artwork's really good the writing's really good the dialogue you know hits really well um, and thus far through two volumes I'm super interested so 
it's keeping that mystery going. Like, I just, at the end of each issue, I'm like, oh my god, where's it going to go next? Where's it going to go next? So, simply put, should should you read Nailbiter? Yes, you should definitely read Nailbiter, if everything sounds good to you. And like I said, five out of five stars for me. So, anyway, hopefully this was helpful to anyone. Um, once again, sorry for the lighting and everything, but it's mainly, this is a video for information. I want to see how these land. Uh, people can feel free to give recommendations. <coughs> Excuse me. Give recommendations and say, hey, can you do this comic or this comic? Uh, usually I'll do it if it's available on Comixology, but other than that, I'm not going to go out and just buy two volumes of comic just to do a review because that'll get pricey. You understand, I'm sure. Um, so if you have ideas for that, great. You can email at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And Brutal is spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. I use that for uh, beer podcasts I do. So, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com for any recommendations, whatever you want to see. Also, if you want to start sending me recommendations for, like, movies, TV shows, whatever, and that'll depend on if I can get them, like, Netflix. I definitely have Netflix, movie channels, stuff like that. So, anyway, thank you, everyone, for checking this out, the first episode of Should You Read. And until next time, keep it brutal.